Hello everybody, this is John with Garfield Heights Coin Club coming at you with the random piece of mail that the U.S. Mint sends out. This is a letter that, uh, that the Department of the Treasury United States Mint sends out. Uh, this one was sent out on August 7th, 2018. You get something in the mail like this from the Department of Treasury. And you rip it open, and, and here you go. And what is this? Well, this company, Naxion, is conducting a survey on behalf of the United States Mint to identify how they can improve their products and services. This is research only. This is not meant to be a sales pitch. Um, you could also do it over the phone if you do not have the Internet. Okay, um, let me tell you, one thing that stuck out to me is, look at the website, www.coinsurvey3q18.com. 3Q18, to me, that means this is the third quarter of 2018. So they sent this out randomly throughout the year. Uh, you know, have you guys received this? Have you not? So anyways, I took the username, well, no, first I went to this website, and it took me here where you click Start Survey. Then you enter your username and password, and it pulls you up here with this survey that you can start, and it says it's going to take about 15 minutes to go through the survey. So I just want to kind of give you guys an idea, um, you know, have you purchased any products? So they're sending this out even even though you might not have purchased anything just because they they either email something to you or send something to you you know they just get a little background information about how old you are and then are are you overall are you satisfied with the customer experience the customer experience anytime you don't answer with a extremely satisfied they ask you to please tell us why you're not extremely satisfied. Um, you know, overall product quality. And I was watching Silver Honda's video. I'm sorry, not Silver Honda. Uh, Silver Wolverine. Silver Wolverine did an unboxing of his sets of the 2018 S Silver Reverse Proof sets. And uh, the product quality wasn't there, you know. And, and neither was the, the overall package it was not packaged well. So, you know, I just took and, and I said, okay, let's pretend I am Silver Wolverine. I'm going to I'm gonna maybe knock down the quality a five, a four. You know, who knows? May, I don't know how many of his sets uh, he is going to complain about and how many he will choose to return. Um, value for your money. You know, consider this. A lot of uh, it has gone on record that uh, a representative of the U.S. Mint said U.S. Mint items are not designed to be investment vehicles. They are novelty items, and that's it. So, you know, value for your money. Anybody can interpret that any way they want. They might say, well, um, I buy it directly from the Mint because if I don't, it's a lot more. Modern Coin Mart or, or eBay or whoever sells them for a lot more. Who knows? Uh, and and you know even here the product packaging design the the outer box we're talking about the box that your coins come in. Do you like the artwork that's on there? You know and like you know for this one let's say I'm 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 not completely satisfied. Uh, value for your money I'm I'm not completely satisfied. Then it it'll, it'll come in and it'll ask you you know why are you not completely satisfied? And I, again, I'm just pretending to be uh, uh, somebody saying, well, they're poorly packaged. So, you know, you continue on through this survey and and go through all this. Um, but here, you know, leave a comment below and let me know if you received this letter. And let me spare you the time of clicking through all that stuff. Just leave a comment below and say, hey, this is what I don't like. This is what I wish they did. Um, you know, here's my experience in the past, whether good or bad. You know, people are going to be happy. Who are those people? 
those are the people that are coming out with these errors and 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 making money. You know, when you're buying this stuff, you want to make money. You want to be able to buy a coin that's hyped up in the media that you are barely able to squeeze in and get the get the household maximum, and then all of a sudden it's sold out and they're going for double all over the internet. That's what you want to buy. That's when you're happy, right? Also, you want your coins to be MS-70s. So, so the mint has to wear white gloves and, and, and by hand put every coin in that plastic holder. Well, there was another, another video. I forget who it was exactly. Pardon me. Um, they unboxed their set and there was an extra coin in the set. And guess what? This is all done by machines. And, you know, they'll, they'll glance at it and take a look. Yeah, it looks okay. Keep, keep the machine running, but they're not going to be white gloved, uh, elegantly handled every single coin. Um, and then, you know, value for your money. It, it just depends. Like, what do you, what do you like to collect and where can you find it? Uh, me personally, I'd have to give them a lower value. Why? Because what I like to collect and what I buy from the mint is the American Silver Eagle proofs and the burnished. And guess what? Every year after they come out the next year, all the back dates drop in price. The new ones are 40, 50 bucks and the old ones are 30, 35. So just wait a year and buy it off the resale market. So the value for my money, I'd have to rate them low. And take a look at this. You know, how would you rate it for the casual and in general interest collector? Who, who are you? And are you the serious coin collector? You know, I, I'm not really too sure how to define these two. And, and yeah, I could, but for the serious coin collector, I'm not really sure uh, where you'd be here. My opinion you probably wouldn't be on there. You know, I, I I don't know. I'm taking a guess. A serious coin collector is probably not going to buy modern stuff. If they are, they're just buying it gifting. They're, they're giving it for uh, birthdays, weddings, graduations. So the serious coin collector could be just gifting. That's all. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching this video. I'm not sure if you have received it or not, but but hey, let me spare you the time. Leave a comment below and hopefully the U.S. Mint will see this video, read the comments, and take action. Thanks for watching. This is John with Garfield Heights Coin Club. Over and out.